we begin play. Boaz first pitch. The 3-1. That's hit hard. It's hit high. It's hit deep. And Parks Harbor has his first Carolina home run. Kyle Straub asked for and answered. Speak it into existence, right? He hit that ball out of existence. Gone over the right center field fence. The one-two pitch. Big chopper left side. Boaz gets to it, throws over to first. It's high, it takes Harbor off the bag. Just outside and he lost him on five pitches. At second base if there's a slow ground ball or somebody bobbles it. And there is a ground ball to second on the first pitch. Madera scoops it up. Melendez, which was a little dribbler, seven. Sharp one hopper past the glove of Wilkerson and into left center field. Kendro, the Tennessee transfer for Popa. Lefty, lefty affair and another wild pitch by Boaz. Misses wide and down to second base goes Kendro. The 2-2 from Boaz to Popa. Line drive into left field. Running on contact, Kendro into score from second, and Pittsburgh's tied the game, and Pope is fired up over first base. The 3-2, runner takes off, and a ground ball base hit through the right side. First to third goes Popa, and Pittsburgh with a big two-out rally. Here's a payoff pitch, lefty-lefty. And on appeal down to third base after the check swing, Cantwell earns the walk, and he's fired up about it. I wouldn't say Pittsburgh's taunting Carolina, and we're just in the fifth. The 2-2. Fly ball into shallow left center field. It's tailing back towards center. Honeycutt reaches up and squeezes out number three. The pitch from Andre to Castanazzi. Lined over second and into right center field. Castanazzi hustling around first base and putting on the brakes. A leadoff single. For the native of the Empire State, Castanazio. Payoff pitch. There's another line drive base hit. This is in the left field. Castanazzi goes first to second. And Cook takes low for ball four. The 3-2. And Harbor goes down swinging. Strike three. Andrade. We can hear him yelling up here in the booth. It's a Pittsburgh team that plays angry and Harbor might have heard some of that from Andre, and he turns around, and Carolina will head off into the dugout, and hopefully cooler heads will prevail. Harbor turns and lines a base hit down the line, past third, and into the corner. Around first base, digging hard for second. He's in standing up. Carolina's got a leadoff double from Parks Harbor. Carolina with nobody out and a runner at second. The pitch, D'Onofrio hits a fly ball deep to center field. Popa is back, reaching up at the track. Catch made and cost makes tracks to third. He'll get there standing and the Tar Heels 90 feet away. Does Fernandez toy with the idea of giving Osuna an unintentional intentional walk to put the double play ball in effect? For Stevenson next up in the order as Osuna launches a high fly ball deep to left center field. The catch made in front of the wall by Popa. Cost tags from third and scores. Berto's got his 20th RBI. Most importantly, Carolina's got the lead two to one. A 2-0 pitch. Inside and that almost hit him and it looked like it actually did hit him. Poston delivers and ends it. The righty winds and delivers and a fastball in there for a called strike. Fogel, it'll be Tyler Bischke, the second baseman. 3-2, hit on the ground and that'll split Casanazzi and Wilkerson and make its way through. Big shift on the infield. Ball hit right back to DeCaro, should be two. One, six, three, double play. Control, little bit get wild last inning as Casanazzi checks his swing, 3-1. Colby 0 for 1 so far today. Hits this one right back through the middle. And that is going to split Kendro and Bishke, the first or the shortstop and the second baseman. 0 2 on the way. Cook hits this one. Opposite field. Holding up is Wilkerson. It gets by and out into the outfield. One run will score. Wilkerson around third. Two runs will score. And Cook comes up with a two strike, two out, two RBI single.
kid who is 17 and should be in high school can pitch against ACC opponents. He has answered those and some here tonight. Goes after the first pitch, pulls it down the first baseline, and it's going to be fair. And down into the corner, D'Onofrio is going to pick it up. They're going to wave Funk around third. The throw from D'Onofrio goes sailing across the infield. Castanazzi will come over and pick it up. And the first extra base hit for Pitt before exiting after the eighth. This one into right center field. D'Onofrio slipped and fell. He's going to be able to get up and cut it off, but not before the run is going to come in to score. And a head first slide from Bischke into second. The throw gets away all the way to the Tar Heel dugout, and he's into third. One out here in the seventh. Ball hit hard right to Harbor. He will field it on a hop, look the runner back to third, and step on first. Another 2-2. This one off the fist, up the middle, Wilkerson shaded towards the middle, fields and fires on the run. Pitch on the way, hit on the ground, up the middle. Good job by Kendro to get to it, spinning, throwing, but the pick can't be made by Cantwell. Shows bunt again, puts this one down, first base side. Pitcher's got to field it, the throw, and he's safe at first. Payoff pitch on the way, Honeycutt puts this one in the air, right field. Wilkerson looking to tag, and the right fielder Funk lost his footing, and the ball falls in. Wilkerson being waved around. Here comes the cutoff throw, and he's safe. And the timeout called. Coach Forbes going to call Cook down. 1-1. One, one. In the air. Deep right field. At the wall. Leaping. And it's out of here. Cook with a three-run shot. Into the pine trees over the right field wall. Cook's third of the season. He's got five driven in tonight, and Carolina with a four-run lead. He'll take that one outside for ball four. Not going anywhere, 0-2, check swing from Osuna. He doesn't go anywhere, ball bounces in the dirt and gets away from Melendez. D'Onofrio reads it well and will advance to second on the wild pitch. The Tar Heels look for the season sweep and the claim of the ACC regular season title. Osuna rips this one through the left side. Coach Forbes waving D'Onofrio around, head first slide and he's in safe. RBI single for Osuna. 0 for 2, couple of flyouts. He's also hit by a pitch, punches this one down the third base line, and that's going to fall in fair. Cook will go over and get to it in the corner. Popa cruises into second with a stand-up double. Here's the payoff pitch, off speed and just off the outside corner. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit on the ground, third base side. Castanazzi will field, and the runners were moving, and because of that, He's able to tag out Melendez, even though Castanazzi didn't field it cleanly. Taking all the way, and it's a four-pitch walk as Pence misses inside. One, two, in the air, right field. D'Onofrio comes on, and he didn't see it. The ball just went right through him. It's going to go all the way back to the fence. Burroughs comes around third and scores. Spiegel into second. The 2-2. Two -two. On the ground, left side, Castanazzi diving, has it go off of his glove and doesn't come up with it cleanly. This ball in the air, left field, Cook coming on, and he will make the catch for the final out of the game. As Spray gets into his motion, first pitch, fastball. Made an error out in the field yesterday. Bouncing ball the other way towards the third baseman. Zuckerman lays out to get to it, throw to first, and D'Onofrio beats it out of the season, his fourth appearance. As he deals high, Melendez has the ball scored out of his glove. D'Onofrio down to second, Osuna at first. Osuna at first, the pitch to Stevenson, and the ball gets away from Melendez. Stevenson tells both runners to take off. High throw past second base, Osuna's in safely. D'Onofrio, who got to third, will come home and score, and the Tar Heels have a one-nothing advantage on an infield odyssey by Pittsburgh as Castanazzi hits for the right side. First pitch, grounded to second base, Bischke. Slides over to 
field and throw, and Castanazzi retired four to three. We're in the third, heels up a run. The pitch, off speed and high. Zuckerman takes the walk. 1-1, one, one. that's pulled into right field and rolling into the corner. Zuckerman rounds second, he's waved in from third. D'Onofrio's throw, it's cut off by Madeira. Throw to the plate, not in time, and Pittsburgh's tied it on a one-out double by Dom Popa. It scores Zuckerman, a glance to second. Pitch to the plate, fly ball into center field. Honeycutt initially headed back, now steps up, reaches up, and makes the catch to end the inning. The 2-2 pitch. There's a base hit between first and second into right field, and patience pays for Kobe Wilkerson. The Tar Heels have the leadoff man aboard. The pitch to Honeycutt, and a big fly, and I mean huge. Deep to right center field, and it falls just in front of the wall, and Honeycutt strides into second with a double down to third base goes Wilkerson for Carolina. The 2-1, bouncing ball to the shortstop. This will score a run. Kendro throws low, it's plucked out of the dirt by Cantwell. Carolina has its second lead, two to one. First pitch, Harbor pops it up to the right side. And that stays in play. And he missed outside again, lost him on four straight. Candelaria's first pitch to the lefty, swatted over second base and into right center field. Digging around second base is Harbor, digging four seconds, D'Onofrio, and he slides in safe with a double. That's what speed can do for you. And for the Tar Heels, it puts runners at second and third. Pitch on the way. Osuna smacks a ball into the gap in left center field. That'll split both Fogel and Popa. It scores Harbor. It scores D'Onofrio. It puts Osuna at second, and it puts Carolina in a much better spot up 4-1 in the bottom of six. Partridge comes set, the lefty delivers, and Stevenson wraps a base hit into center field. Osuna with those short strides comes chugging around third to score. Stevenson with the RBI, 5-1 Carolina. Full pen, but nobody actively throwing. Castanazzi, ground ball to third. Zuckerman throws to second, and that starts the 5-4-3 double play. Spray gets into his motion with the payoff pitch on the way, and it's inside. The 1-1, turns on that and drives a base hit into right center field. Honeycutt gets to it. Funk goes first to third. The 2-2, Bischke chops to third. Castanazzi charging in, flips the ball from his glove to his hand and throws out Bischke. Over second pitch, pulled but right to Castanazzi, inning over. Tar Heels at 5-2 on Pittsburgh. Next pitch, that's blasted into left center, it's deep. Cook is back at the track, looks up, and Kendro has gone deep for the third time this year to make it a 5-3 game. Kendro entered this weekend nine for 14 over his last four games. The 3-1, high and away, and he lost him on five pitches. The 0-1. That's pulled past second and into right field. First and second for the Panthers. Funk at the plate. First pitch, that's hit past second base and into right field. Pittsburgh sends Popa around from third to score. It's a one-run game at five to four. The payoff pitch from Poston. Bischke bounces up the middle and past Wilkerson into center field. Pittsburgh ties the game on a two-out RBI single from Bischke that scores Cantwell. Smacked up into the sky, left side. Cook calls off Wilkerson, and the left fielder makes the catch to end the inning. The 0-1. Inside, and it hit him. The pitch, the 1-0. Pitch. He's on it. The two. And that's low. D'Onofrio turns and slams a long fly ball deep into right field. It'll get to the warning track. It'll send Cook around third base, and Cook slides in safe. It's a walk-off W. D'Onofrio does it for Carolina. Great bat back from D'Onofrio.